Welcome to this tutorial video and today what we're looking at is calculating the perimeter and area of composite shapes. Now the first thing that we're having a look at with this shape is how to calculate its area. Now for just the same as with all composite shapes what we need to do is identify what the basic shapes are that we're going to dissect the figure into. Now if you have a look at the bottom of this shape we notice that the, the base and this line here are parallel. So that means for shape number one down the bottom, we're going to have a trapezium. Now in the middle, it's pretty obvious that we have a rectangle. And for shape number three up on top, we've got half a circle or a semicircle. So first thing we need to do now is for our first shape, and we've called that area number one, we need to remember that to calculate the area of a trapezium, we have to find the perpendicular height, halve it, and then multiply that by the sum of the two parallel sides. Now we can see that the perpendicular height of our trapezium is four units. So what we have is four over two multiplied by what the top is 7 and the bottom is 13 so we've got 7 and 13 so 4 over 2 is 2 7 and 13 is 20 2 times 20 is 40 square units now the second shape is our rectangle and we know that to calculate the area of a rectangle we multiply the base which is 7 by the height which is 2. So we've got 7 multiplied by 2.4 which is 16.8 square units. Square units. And the third area is a little more complicated. Our third area is a semicircle. Now a semicircle is half of a circle and a full circle is given by pi r squared. We've seen that before. Now the complication here is that the measurement that you can infer off this diagram is the distance all the way across which will be the diameter of our circle which is 7. But what we need is the radius which is halfway which is half of 7, which will be 3.5 units. So in our formula now, what we've got is a half of pi times 3.5 squared, which when we use our calculator, we'll calculate that to 5 five square units. So rounding that off we've got 19.2 square units. So that gives us a total area because what we need to do now is add the 40, the 16.8 and the 19.2 together. So our total area is going to be 40 plus 16.8 plus 19.2 which gives us a total area of 76 square units and finish it off with therefore the area equals 76 square units and underline that. Now the next challenge that we'll be taking on is to calculate the perimeter of our composite shape. Now remember the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside. So the first thing we need to understand is that not all of these measurements are going to be included in the perimeter. This 7 and this 4 are measurements that we needed to calculate its area and they're inside the shape, they're not part of the outside boundary. So what we'll do is we'll just trace around and make sure we've got all of the side lengths that we need. So we've got 2.4 5.7 all the way across we've got 13 4.5 on the right side now this is a rectangle so on this side here we'll have 2.4 units as well and the other part that we don't know is this distance around the outside now that is half of a circle or 
a semicircle, which we will need to calculate before we can add the perimeter up. So as a preliminary calculation, our perimeter will be, and starting over with our 2.4, so we've got 2.4, plus 5.7 plus 13 plus 4.5 plus 2.4 plus the semicircle which we'll need to calculate in a moment and that comes to 28 units plus whatever we calculate our semicircle to be now the next thing to do is to calculate our semicircle and we know that the semicircle is a half of the circumference of a full circle which if we've got the diameter we obtain by using pi multiplied by our diameter and in this case we know that the distance across there is our seven units which will be the diameter of our semicircle. So our semicircle will be a half by pi by seven units, which comes to 10.9955742 units, which when we round that off to one decimal place, will actually go to 11.0 units correct to one decimal place which now we can calculate the entire perimeter by taking the 28 that we calculated earlier adding the 11.0 which will give us a final perimeter of 39.0 units and remember we've rounded that to one decimal place so we say that's correct to one decimal place anyway I hope that video helps to clarify how to calculate the area and perimeter of composite shapes thank you very much for watching